I've been having a good look in the greenhouse for the last little while and I've decided I want to make some major changes but I'm not a hundred percent sure what it is that I want to do um, first off it definitely needs a good clean inside and out the windows have got a load of algae and moss on them same with the roof and then I think you know if I just drag everything out of here and then take a look at it I might get a better idea of what it is that I want to do I built the greenhouse back in 2012 with my friend Roy and we built it from half a dozen or so four by fours some upcycled double glazed windows and four sheets of corrugated polycarbonate roofing um, it's been used quite a bit in that time but I don't recall ever really giving it a good clean out I think I might have done the windows once but that's about it I don't like to use nails for anything only screws that way in a couple of years time when you change your mind they come out fairly easy how about that the more things I pull out of there the more I'm seeing how dirty it is there's all kinds of creepy crawlies and I think we have more cobwebs than Dracula's castle okay underneath the bench here we have the winter cover for the swimming pool which is basically a 20 by 40 foot tarp and then next to them we've got a whole bunch more tarps and I think the only reason I keep these tarps here is because that one is kept there but it's silly these would be better if I could store them somewhere else you know I did clear out a cupboard underneath the chop saw maybe I can put those in there Just about managed to stuff all those in there. We've got brand new ones here. There we go, that's a better place for them. They fit in there nicely. The greenhouse faces northeast, which means it's a bit of a shady greenhouse. Uh, it doesn't get full sun all day. Now, there are pros and cons to that. Uh, some of the cons are that anything that requires full sun does not grow very well in there. Uh, some of the pros are that leafy greens are fine. I've grown cucumbers in there in the past. One of the great things about it is that I don't have to be in there all day checking to see if things are wilting or frying. And I don't have to be in there twice a day keeping things watered. And that is a blessing in the heat of summer. I hadn't realized just how much crap I had in the greenhouse. I guess when you include things like shelves and lots of crazy ideas that never really materialized it soon mounts up all right so that's just about got it cleared out i'll get those cloches out of here and uh, i think it's time to probably start cleaning the roof and the windows uh actually i've got a loose cable here i should secure that to the frame of the greenhouse now i did notice down here we have a hole which has been made by a rat or something similar and there's another one over there in that corner so at some point there's been an entrance and an exit i will fill those in and there's my trailer hello trailer and then this bench this bench gonna stay it's a little bit wobbly but uh i think i can secure that by just putting a block of wood there and tacking that to the frame of the greenhouse too all right let's crack on i think i need to sort these cables out too you know this was the local television company when they came and installed the fiber optic you know they just drilled a hole in the wall randomly and inside it comes out about eye height and then when you complain about it they look at you gone out as if there's nothing wrong with it at all you know if I did my job this badly I would not expect to be paid 
Oh well, I suppose I'd better fix it. Right, I'm going to start on the roof. Uh, it hasn't been cleaned about five years, so it could be a bit tricky. Initially, I thought I'd go at this with the pressure washer, but after measuring the high pressure hose, I'd have to run it from the neighbor's house for the first part of the job, and then shift it back to our garden for the second part. And that's a bit too much shovel, really. Plus the fact that I'm standing on a fence and walking a tightrope whilst trying to do it. I think I'll be better off just using soap and water for now, and we'll see how that goes. The soapy water and scrubbing brush never really worked out so I ended up pulling out the pressure washer anyway and I'm glad I did. Uh, it made things a lot easier and it did a much better job. Um, that's got the roof done now and I can't believe how bright it is in here. We've not even done the windows yet. Uh, I'm guessing it really, really needed doing. Now I did find a wider board and attach it to the top of the fence to make it easier for me to stand. You do have to think about your neck sometimes. But uh, yeah, that's got the roof done and now onto the windows. I've got a really good friend who's a window cleaner, but never around when you want them are they right that's got the windows and the roof clean and it's probably lighter in here than it's ever ever been even when i first built the greenhouse there was a shed in this direction that would shade the sun from the southeast now i did have a little accident while i was cleaning the roof up here we've got a hole where I put my foot through uh, I'm just gonna have to repair that from underneath with a bit of polycarb and hopefully I'm gonna be able to find a small piece but I think it should be easy enough there's enough houses around here that are coming down at the moment okay so I just need to do a little bit of detailing and pulling the last few things out and then I've got to think about how I want to set it up but uh, I'm going to call it a day for today now sleep on it overnight and we'll take another look tomorrow morning well that's got the greenhouse cleaned up and cleaned out and we'll call that end of part one if you've enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up leave a comment in the comment section below and if you haven't subscribed then ding the bell in part two we're going to give the greenhouse a bit of a makeover and until then, cheers.